Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Anakin Skywalker from The Clone Wars. Yes, this is a special edition and yes, this one comes with the stab. And let me tell you guys, I can't wait to show you all the details. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, sponsored videos and live streams, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And the notification icon so you don't miss anything all right guys enough with the talking let's start with the unboxing so without further ado let's get started all right guys and here we have the box and as you can see we have a nice picture of anakin in the front yes special edition we have the banner here at the bottom with a nice yellow and blue color here this is the side this is the back with all the crescent warning small pieces to do it this is the other side of the box with another picture of Anakin. This is the bottom, Star Wars. And of course, last but not least, the top of the box with the Star Wars logo. All right, so now let me tell you guys, this is a big box. So, you know, you're gonna need some room to do an unboxing for this thing. Now, let me open this and we have a nice insert art with Anakin Skywalker in the stop. And let me tell you, very nice picture love the design and of course the effects now here we have anakin guys so let me remove this because we have two trays so let me just take this out of the box and show you the two trays this figure comes with so underneath we have the stab with the base one for the stab and one for anakin and as you can see guys looking really good especially this blue color and the yellow pattern here so this is the stab with the bases all right so now let me show you guys the figure itself because let me tell you very nice representation of anakin so in the first i guess plastic cover here we have the poncho so let me just open this and show it to you guys so you guys can see the poncho very similar to the one that came with uh qui-gon now here we have the figure and the first thing is brand new smell of a hot toys and yes this is my favorite part of the unboxing let me remove the plastic here you can see anakin skywalker love the hescope you can see the holograms the uh, shoulder pads lightsaber a bunch of hands and that's basically it all right guys so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories all right guys and here we have the accessories i'm going to start in uh, or actually i'm going to start in two sections so the first is going to be the stab and as you can see we have the base here which is a bit heavy underneath we have the lucasfilm ltd and of course the little hole in the front where you can put the stab now let me show you the selling piece here and it's actually pretty big and i love this blue plane application kind of like a metallic blue if you ask me um this is the side with some white paint now you can move this up and down so mine is a bit stiff as you can see i don't want to break it but you can see you can move it up and down a lot of details going on especially underneath love the design and the details now you can see the side 
a lot of weathering going on and of course you have this piece here that you can connect in this tab because i'm going to show you pretty much everything and yes another thing i wanted to mention guys is when you have this tab together and you put it in the base and you put anakin on it if you want to put it on the detolf or any other shelf you might need to make some adjustments because overall i think it's about 23 to 25 inches tall so it's a bit uh, high if you ask me you can open this thing here and you have the lot of feature so love the uh, effect on this um, engine if you will you can see the back and of course let me turn off the lights because I don't want to run out of batteries now that's basically it for that now we can put these handles here and let me tell you guys this look really nice as well love the metallic paint application with the silver and black you can see you can even have the the brakes in the handle so that's actually a pretty good effect if you ask me so now you can put it here on the peg same with the other side and it will do the job just fine i think hatois did a really good job with this particular accessory and this is the front all right guys so now let me show you the other part of the accessories which is the base the capes poncho you name it so we're gonna start yes 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 boring base same thing you know i'm not gonna spend time on this one but you get the idea same base as every other star wars release now we have the lightsaber effects and of course the hilt and as you can see looking really good love the paint application as well very clean if you ask me now you can connect yeah i put the wrong <laughs> you can put this like so so it will look really good and also you can connect the other more dynamic lightsaber effect right you can see here you put it together looking really really good all right guys so now let's move on to the next uh, accessory here which is the arm and yes i'm not gonna put it on the on the figure because you know i don't want to break it yes it's easy to do it but again i always exercise cautious when i'm doing this type of um swaps now here we have those uh shoulder pads that you can connect on the figure as you can see you have a velcro end over there so you can just connect it on the shoulders and it will look really good then we have a bunch of holograms and yes we have ahsoka we have um, Obi-Wan, I believe, and we have Yoda. And it looks pretty good. R really like the blue color, transparent blue. Now, it wouldn't be perfect if you ask me if we have some type of lighted feature, but I guess I'm asking for too much. We have this little piece here, which is the hologram communicator, <laughs> whatever that, that's called, but you can connect it with those holograms there. We have the detonators, one that you can actually put in the flat ground and of course the one with the you know pumpkin type of design <laughs> right very nice paint as well then we have this cape here and let me tell you guys i like it is an armor with a velcro underneath so you can connect it to the figure with no issues and the cape has some weight to it so that's pretty good if you ask me because it's gonna fall very nicely then we have this poncho here and yes it doesn't have a lot of uh, weathering but it is wired and that to me is a huge plus especially if you want to do some dynamic poses now bear in mind that only special editions comes with this type of ponchos if you get the regular version it would not have this but you know i think it will do the job just fine again very similar to the one that came with qui-gon and then we have a bunch of hands so let me show you the two one of them is a dark brown color the other one is uh black and that's basically it for the hands all right guys so now let me show you the figure and here we have anakin skywalker and let me tell you he looks really good i love the head scope love the outfit now let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is and he is about 12 and a pinch inches tall all right so now taking a closer look at the details here guys the head scope looks really good yes it is similar very similar to the one from the light side version but i think the paint application is much better on this one you can see the scar in the eye looking really good and of course the sculpted hair and i have to give kudos to, to hot toys because they've been doing a really good job with the head sculpts especially with the hair 
looking really good love the paint application on the hair and of course this is the top and you can see a lot of details going on now moving on to the armor here as you can see it has a velcro piece underneath so you can detach this piece and put the cape and don't worry i'm going to show you that in just a second you can see this again with the velcro you can connect the shoulder piece now the beauty about this figure is the material on the outfit itself is fabric so that's actually pretty good a lot of weathering going on on this metal piece and of course the gauntlet looking really good as well now you can see the detail on the outfit is a nice blue with burgundy you know type of material uh, again fabric so articulation will not be an issue especially with the arms and the joints so that's a good thing you can see the bell we have this pouch over here which is kind of like plastic you can connect the lightsaber here you can see the belt and of course the other pouch on the other side and that's basically it for this now we have these pieces here which are wired and that's a huge plus again for articulation purposes and dynamic poses it's a good call now we have underneath this skirt again burgundy color and of course the pants fabric as well soft material so no issues whatsoever with the articulation now one thing that i'm kind of concerned is the boots i like the boots but it is like a pleather material so i'm not sure if this is going to be durable hope i'm wrong but this is underneath of the figure this is the side if you compare it with the previous anakin version the other one was much better material this one feels different for some reason now this is the back of the figure you can see anakin's booty now the belt also has a velcro and of course the back of the armor which looks really really good all right for the articulation guys you can move the head up and down this much and to the sides this much not bad for the arm you can lift it for about this much you have some swivel on the biceps not bad you can lift it forward for about this much and back for about this much not bad now for the elbow you have double joints so that's a huge plus and again fabric no issues whatsoever classic peg articulation on the hand now for the torso this is a little bit of a problem because it has a limited up crunch and swivel so it might be a bummer now for here you can do a split on the legs for about this much as you can see so swivel on the thighs you can lift the uh, leg forward about that much and back for about this much double join as well on the knees so that's a huge plus and some articulation on the feet up and down and to the sides all right guys so now let me show you how to put the cape on this figure so the first thing you need to do guys is remove the head scope so just be very careful you grab it like so just you know push it take it out and that's it now you need to remove this um, armor here so again velcro so that's a huge plus you can just detach it simple as that and then you just connect the cape and as you can see it is one piece so that's a huge plus so just make sure you align it well and last but not least you connect the head sculpt on the figure just be careful when you handle this because again it is fragile so you don't want to apply too much pressure on this now this is the back it looks really good again the cape looks fantastic it falls very natural so that's a huge plus nice paint application on this armor and that's basically it for this all right guys so now let's do some comparison here i'm going to show you the anakin skywalker has called versus the dark side anakin and as you can see pretty much the same thing right different paint application of course the dark side anakin is more pale compared to the light side anakin hair is shorter as well because again he's from the clone wars you can see the profile and of course the front and the top of the head and that's basically it all right guys so now continuing with the comparison here i'm going to show you anakin and dark side anakin next to each other and let me tell you they look awesome they look awesome together you can see pretty much the same height all right for the next one i have to include one of my favorites captain rex and of course anakin is taller because we know that he is taller in real life and last but certainly not least obi-wan kenobi and i can wait for general kenobi to be announced hot toys please dear howard give us general kenobi all right guys enough with the comparison let's do some poses <music>
guys, my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive. Instead of with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of Anakin Skywalker as, no, not seen in the Clone Wars, but in real life. Yes, I know this is a Clone Wars line, but the likeness is more from the real actors, so I have to give kudos to Hot Toys because I think they nailed it again. Now, this video comes with a lot of accessories, and that's a huge plus. You have the stab, you have a few hands, you have the cape, so that right there is a good addition. Now, the articulation is actually pretty good as well, so you can do really good dynamic poses. And let me tell you, if you want to fit the stab and Anakin together, you're looking for about 24 inches tall, so you may need more room. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group 6 Kill Media for anything related once those kill figures. Both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.